Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out and showing you how to install the Optronics three wire pigtail for trailer lights. When it comes to trailer wiring, you know, these connectors and all the connections are real common just for over time becoming corroded and then giving you issues and making connection, having connection issues and uh, not working. It makes sense, you know, the trailer sits outside a lot of times, uh, you know, hard conditions and people, people use them hard. So uh, if you're running into any of them problems, chances are good. It could be the trailer connector where it makes, or it actually plugs into the back of the light, um, could get corroded or just beat up. And good example today, the one that was on there, uh, it was just having connection issues. You know, the wires start to get brittle. It had these uh, subpar splice connections in there and just the ends are starting to get, get kind of soft. It, it was on its way out, it wasn't gonna last much longer, especially on a boat trailer back here, it's in and out of the water. And so we ended up upgrading to LED lights and doing some other stuff like that. And it just makes sense while you're in here and doing all that to upgrade your pigtail. So you can, uh, you know, buck connect it and have everything new that way, it'll give you the confidence knowing that everything is squared away and your light should work for, uh, for quite some time. So with this being a three-prong type connector, it's really common. You see these a lot. Uh, you get your ground, the other wire will control your stop and turn, and then the other wire will, wire will control your taillights. So pretty basic stuff. Um, you know, they just plug right in to the light that you got. I'm gonna wind up here. And so they just pop right in. Obviously these will work with Optronics lights like we have here today. They'll work with other manufacturers as well as long as it has that three prong uh, type setup. And you know, that's really all there is to it. Um, you can even use these if you don't, if you don't plan on using the stop, turn, and tail, you can use them for just single functions as well. So for example, uh, I actually replaced the reverse lights here. That's what these are. And I use that same connector. I just didn't hook up one of the wires, all right? Um, since we only have a single function and I just taped that wire up and out of the way. So it'll still work for that type of thing as well. Um, and we'll kind of just complete the package. Like I said, if you're getting into the lights and changing stuff, it just makes sense to do it all and call it a day. Um, I do suggest getting some heat shrink buck connectors. Um, that way uh, it'll help protect that connection from corrosion and things like that. And you can always grab that uh, type of thing right here at eTrailer. But with all that said, as far as getting it installed, really not much to it. You got your ground and two wires to hook up. So really shouldn't run into too many issues, but if you'd like to follow along, we're gonna replace the, uh, that connector plug as well as our light uh, right now. So why don't we go ahead and jump into that. To begin our installation, we first need to remove all of our old stuff. So these lights usually just pop out. Get that out of here. And we'll unplug it. Get rid of it. And we're gonna be replacing uh, this harness here because it's spliced in, it's old, it's showing some corrosion and everything else. So. We'll uh, get rid of that. I like to try to remember, so our yellow wire goes to the red harness wire or connector wire, brown wire goes to the black, and then whites are ground. So I'll cut all these. And as far as our ground wire, that's just connected to the frame. So I will grab a socket the screwdriver and pull this bolt out. So once that's off, we'll pull our old harness out of the way. And so you can see it's pretty corroded and rusty and stuff in there. And one of the most important parts to having your lights work properly is having a good clean ground uh, contact. And so what I'm gonna do I'd like to utilize the hole that's already there instead of drilling a new one. 
So what I'm going to do is come back with a wire brush and a scraper and while we have all this room clean this up to uh, good bare metal that way we have a proper ground. So we got our ground surface cleaned up. Now we can get our wires ready. So I strip back one already. What you're going to do is just strip back the insulation, give that wire a good twist, and take our harness. And I've connected one butt connector on it already. And these butt connectors you will have to pick up separately. This is what I suggest using. They're heat shrinks. They just uh, they work really well keeping them clean and uh, corrosion free. You slide that over the bare end and crimp it down. And if you remember, originally the yellow wire went to red. So that's what we'll do here. And the black wire I went to brown. And with the heat shrinks, you can come back with a heat source and seal up the ends. So I tape this up, uh, our connections, just for an added layer of protection. And then we can take our ground wire, with this pre-attached ring terminal, and ground that to the chassis. So I'm just gonna use the same stuff here. Put our screw up through there, get the nut started, and tighten it all down. With the ground and all the other wires hooked up, now we'll just take our grommet, put that back in place, and we'll take our new light, get that connected. And simply just uh, push back into the grommet. It is a good idea to test uh, everything that way we make sure it's working properly. So I hooked into a test box. If you don't have one of these, you can hook up to your uh, tow vehicle, but keep in mind if you have an issue on that side, you know, it could mislead you into thinking it's something you did with the light. But that said, we'll go ahead and turn on our tail lights. So we got those working. And with this being the left side of our trailer, we'll hit the turn signal as well. And then our brake light. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Optronics three-wire pigtail for trailer lights.